Somebody don't trust me, I'm just so fresh, so clean. Don't you think I'm so sexy, I'm just so fresh, so clean. Ain't nobody don't trust me, I'm just so fresh, so clean. I love when you stand me, I'm just so fresh, so clean. God damn it, Logitech! Go I keep moving it to the other monitor and then it just pops up on here. Piece of shit. Hey guys! Uh, bit of a hiccup there because, uh, Spark is a shitty internet service provider. Fuck you, Spark. You are absolute trash. But with that out of the way, let's get started with Soul Reaver 2. I've been looking forward to this for a long as time, ever since we finished Soul Reaver 1, and now we can finally get to it. There's meant to be sound... There it is. Okay, I should probably... <clears throat> I should probably make this louder. Your favorite part of these things is you singing. Aw, oh, I'm glad to hear it, Chia Bride. I'm watching Chia Bride play Persona 5 while watching you stream. What a night! Yes. Okay, I should probably turn this up more. Turn the game up more. And... Yeah, that should be fine. Oh boy. Des, des allowed. This is an old game. It is, but I love it. How is the volume? Also, this is probably gonna fuck with everything because the resolution changes for this cutscene! Oh, jeez! At last. <laughs> I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me. Did it trouble you? To murder your brothers. Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing I can do about Eternity this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never contain such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Do you not feel with all your soul how we have become like gods? As such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine eons ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. Free will is an illusion. I found the tomb of Saravan King. How could you profane a priest by turning him into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. Who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? The Seraphim were saves, defending Nazgul from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are open, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Sarafan were noble, altruistic? <laughs> oh, don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours.
Redeemer and Destroyer, Pawn and Messiah. Welcome, Time Span Soul. Welcome to your destiny. It's okay, this resolution is about to end. It's just for this cutscene, and possibly the final cutscene at like the end of the game, but you know, that's, that's at the end of the game. Come on. There we go! Why is the usual question. In your case, when might be more apt? Sorry about that. Very well, you old snake. If you'd prefer I use my bare hands. But this is completely unexpected. This orb disables our vampire enemies, leaving them helpless and incapacitated. Strangely, it seems to have the same effect on that peculiar weapon of yours. But you must believe me. I mean you no harm. You can drop the benevolent facade, Mobius. I know who and what you are. Should I turn the game volume up? Where you stand. <laughs> Perhaps you should, my boy. But you don't. Are you so certain of that, Mobius? My role as Time Guardian affords me a certain level of omniscience, Raziel. No, you don't kill me. That honor belongs to your maker, Cain, some 30 years from now. Ah, you two are a pair. You're just as fatalistic as he is. Death comes for us all, Raziel. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. How is it that you know my name? We have never met. On the contrary, Raziel, I know you very well. And it grieves me to see how cruelly Cain has used you. I knew you when you were one of the Seraphan Brotherhood, Raziel. Okay, good, I can do that. Phew. Okay, uh, I sound fine, game higher. Okay, it was at 90 before, so I'll put it at 100 right now. And how is this? We were even close. Oh, please. Fortunately, you need not love me now to be my ally. Are we within the stronghold of the Seraphan priesthood? Yes, but the glorious days of the Seraphan have long since passed, I'm afraid. This is a more cynical and indecorous age. Oh, wait. I can do this. Aha! Huh. My mercenary army now inhabits this stronghold. We strive to honor the memory of the Seraphan with our own humble crusade. Is this the Vampire Vorador? Yes. The scourge of the Circle. The most depraved and decadent example of his whole degenerate race. He slaughtered six of my fellow Guardians as they cowered defenseless in this room. And you somehow survived this massacre? I and two others. The circle was devastated. Only we three were spared. How convenient. You'll forgive me if I don't naively devour every scrap of information you toss me. You have a reputation for deceit. And who has slandered me, sir? Your malefactor, Cain? The one who betrayed and destroyed you? Our common enemy? Consider the source before you judge me too harshly. We'll forget about rekindling our old friendship then. But consider an alliance based on our common ground. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. You don't want to meddle in this old man. I know all about your sordid little schemes. But you're simply out of your depth on this one. You underestimate me, Raziel. Let me show you. Even now, Cain is lying in wait for you. Unaware that I've snatched you out of the time stream and brought you here to me. See how he lingers at the very pillars he is destined to destroy. Foolishly confident that he has eluded your grasp. The pillars are still standing in this time. Yes, Razian. 
They are the embodiment of the divine force which preserves the life of our world. We who serve the pillars maintain their delicate balance, and Cain is destined to be the fulcrum upon which that balance turns. I believe you have already endured the wasteland wrought by his terrible, selfish decision. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Nosgoth is in peril. You may never again be human, Raziel. But you can re-embrace the essence of your humanity and the nobility of your Seraphim heritage. Go to him, Raziel, and end this. But first, you will need to find your way out of the stronghold, and in this, I'm afraid I cannot help you. My soldiers will not understand your appearance here. They will try to kill you. You needn't fear them, of course. They're no match for you. Try to keep the casualties to a minimum. But do what you have to do. All great movements require a few martyrs. Alone now, I surveyed my surroundings and noticed a second time streaming chamber, its entrance identical to the first, but with one distinction. That crystal was significant, but how, I had not yet discovered. Okay, that was a long as cutscene. Uh, Kathleen, how is the volume now? My voice compared to the game. Also, hi, Waji. Sorry, I couldn't greet- whoa. I couldn't greet you while the cutscene was happening because I wanted everyone to hear the plot. <clears throat> and hi, Raptor Girl. It's okay. I'm just glad you're here now. I have missed you. Okay, to answer your question, what is the plot of the game? This is the sequel to Soul Reaver 1. Our main character is Raziel. Uh... I might as well give a quick rundown. Main character's name is Raziel. He used to be a vampire hunting priest who, um, who died. And he was resurrected and turned into a vampire by Cain, the guy we saw in the cutscene in this mirror pool thing. <clears throat> I, you get betrayed by Cain, thrown down into this abyss thing, which burns away your body and which burnt away our body and this happened. Now we look like this. And instead of hungering for blood like normal vampires, now we hunger for souls, which is what this is. Souls! <clears throat> so, we're basically out to get our revenge on Cain for doing this to us. <clears throat> oh, you played a bit of one? Okay, good. Now, uh... This has a lot of allusions to Blood Omen. Which I haven't played, I've only seen bits of, but I will try and link as much of what I can back to Blood Omen. So, starting with Vorador here. <clears throat> so as Mobius said, Vorador killed six members of the, of the Circle of Guardians, excluding Mobius himself, uh, Nup Raptor, the Guardian of Death, and Malik, the Guardian of, I believe it's Conflict? So no Farkas references tonight? I mean, you can if you see anyone that reminds you of him. But yeah. Nup Raptor, Malak, and Mobius were spared. Obviously, new guardians have been born since then and taken on those roles of the ones who died. Uh, <clears throat> but Malak, aside from being the guardian of conflict, is also the guardian of the circle, as in he's their bodyguard. He's the only one with any actual combat experience. So that's his job. He was supposed to be there to protect the circle, but he failed because six of them died. And so as a result, his soul was torn from his armor and... Stop cracking your bones, Raziel. His soul was torn from his armor and bound... Sorry, no. His soul was torn from his body and then bound to his armor. So he was damned to eternally be the bodyguard for the circle. For those of you watching this in post, watching the archive, I will play that clip for you now.
So yeah, that was the clip. Those of you those of you who are like here won't see that, but yeah, I figured I'd just put that in. I think that's everything. I'm probably gonna fail at some things later down the line, but that's okay. Fortunately we can still do this. Hold block to block. Thanks. Like the first game, the combat is not the best, but it's still fun. Uh, I prefer swords to staff, so we'll do that. Oh, and luckily, uh, you don't have to do a finishing move to kill an opponent. Opponent, They just die on their own if you wait long enough, so that's, that's a good... But it's still fun. Also, you don't need a weapon to kill enemies. You can kill enemies with your bare hands now. Isn't that good? In fact, it's so good, it makes me wonder why the hell I'm even still carrying this. I like staffs. Sorry, I had to intend that pun. God damn it. Oh man, isn't that satisfying? Uh, according to the back of the PS2 box, there is a finishing move with the Soul Reaver, but I've never seen it. I've never been able to pull it off. No. But yeah, how are you guys doing today? Raptor Girl, Waji, I haven't. How are you doing? Raptor, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you've been doing well. Like, you can kill enemies with your bare hands, but weapons are better. Throughout the stronghold, I discovered evidence of my former nobility and my life as a Seraphan priest. This was the heritage so foully stolen from me when Cain raided my sacred crypt and defiled me. You probably won't be able to stay all stream tonight. Oh, that's okay. At least you're here. Also, that was that was some terrific wording, Raziel. Raided my sacred crypt and defiled me. I know Waji wants Farkas to invade his sacred crypt and defile him. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Puns! Well, not not really. So yeah, like the first game, uh your health deteriorates over time, so you need to eat all the souls. Eat all the souls. Oh man, I'm a lot better at this combat now than I was before. You were out of town. Ah, oh, fair enough. Where, what did you get up to? And was it fun? I got given a proposal defense date on the 24th of this month, so that's good progress. Tar currently taking time to relax and play Skyrim and look at Farkas. Of course, always look at Farkas. Never not look at Farkas. Which way am I? Oh, okay, it's this way. Hmm. 
Must be in Spectral. Yes, we can. Luckily, we get to keep... Whoa. Luckily, we get to keep all our powers from the first game, so... We can still go into the spirit world. The spectral realm, etc, etc. Yeah, so we can do that shit. Eat all of the souls! Yep. The combat kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia's combat is way better than this. And then back to the... Back to the material plane we go. Also, for some reason, they put the Soul Reaver in the ring menu, which... You can just double tap the feed button to summon the Soul Reaver. Well, not yet, but... I'll get to that. I'll get to that later. Away from the influence of Mobius's cursed staff, I could feel the strength of the Soul Reaver slowly returning. If that orb was as debilitating to vampires as it was to the blade, it gave Mobius a powerful advantage over his enemies. I finally understood how Mobius's crusade could decimate the vampires so successfully. If he could immobilize his enemies, they were at his mercy. Indeed. But why, I wondered, would the staff have any effect on the Reaver? Went to some awesome food places while I was gone, and a bookstore. Awesome. Yes, it's better, but the slashing and decapitating and the jumping. Fair enough. Shit. Die! So yeah, like the first game, full health means soul, we, we have the Soul Reaver out, and our health does not deteriorate. Shit! But, also like the first game, lose even a bit of health and dead. No Reaver for us, but we got it now. Oh damn it. Oh, please don't talk about food, I'm dieting. Fair enough. No, okay, I'm gonna kill someone with the Reaver. Now you're 60 kilos, awesome. Damn you! You piece of shit! Give me the souls! So how come they can duck, but I can't? Oh, sorry, I'll try it. It's, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. You know what? F fuck it! So who even needs the soul reaver? It's a dumb mechanic anyway, we don't need it. We can kill enemies with our bare hands now. Shitty programming, I know. Shit, I did not mean to pick that sword back up. Got the Reaver back. We didn't get to kill anyone with it. Also, it's not making any sound. Oh well. Also, for those of you who are here for Soul Reaver 1, what do you think of this design? I'm... I'm in two minds about it. Like, it looks less solid than, the, than Soul Reaver 1, but there's also, like, more to it, I guess? I don't even... Like, I don't like the purple color for one thing. It's meant to be blue. But look at that, like, white core. That's meant to be the actual striking bit, and then the particle effects are the aura around it. It makes it look really flimsy. It looks it looks more like a nail than anything. Is it designed like Prince of Persia? Fair enough. There's one. I meant the design of the Reaver, but... There we go. So... Killing something with the Reaver... Oh yeah, the, the, the design of the game is also cool. Killing something with the Reaver, for, like, doesn't... Right now, doesn't give as much soul back. We will see why later. By later, I mean in, like, ten minutes. As I neared the stronghold's inner sanctum, a strange sensation crept over me. An indescribable feeling of displacement, a sense of vertigo, 
as reality itself appeared to warp and bend around me. The disturbance seemed to emanate from the sanctuary's furthest chapel. As I cautiously approached, the sense of dislocation intensified with each step. So this was the tomb of the beloved King William the Just, beatified here as the martyr and catalyst of Mobius's crusade. I was reminded of Cain's journey as a fledgling vampire, how Mobius coerced him to travel back in history and assassinate William, thus igniting a genocidal hatred of vampires among the citizens of Nosgoth. And here I discovered the source of the displacement, the Soul Reaver itself, laid out like a holy relic, and broken, apparently in the battle between William and Cain. I had not thought such a thing was possible, until, of course, Cain shattered the blade against me when he tried to strike me down. Thus, the captive spirit inhabiting the Reaver was released, and binding itself to me, became my symbiotic weapon. And so the Reaver met its former self, still imprisoned in this corporeal shell. I watched, mesmerized, as the Wraith Blade uncoiled itself and snaked down the length of the physical blade. Embracing its twin, its mirror self, the Reaver's long dormant spirit was now fully aroused. And for the first time, I felt the true presence of this other entity, willful, ravenous, and deranged from thousands of years of imprisonment. The Reaver was now in command, and I, now merely its helpless host, felt my soul being leeched to restore the blade. But the Reaver knew better than to destroy its host, and just as I neared the brink of oblivion, the blade released its hold on me. As I recovered, I realized we were now bound together in a fragile alliance. The Reaver no longer merely my symbiotic weapon, but a sentient parasite competing for control. What have you done to me, Mobius? Is this your trap? How mine? Don't forget it was Cain who led you here, not I. While you curse me, the only soul in Nosgoth ready to guide and assist you, Cain laughs at our folly and revels in your dismay. These blades, now coiled in sinister embrace, have inspired terror in the hearts of creatures far more durable than you, old man. Bound together as they are, I can only imagine what they could do to your soul's fragile shell. Brazil. I beg you to stay your hand. This was none of my doing. I have sought only to aid you in your righteous quest. Why, you're trembling, Mobius. Has your confidence abandoned you? You seem to have made a fatal error by leaving your precious staff behind. Is that where all your courage comes from? Listen to me, Raziel. You don't know what you're doing. I have taken an enormous risk by appearing here before you, so defenseless, yet eager to prove my good intentions. If there's anything left of the Seraphim in you, you won't do this. While you threaten me, your true enemy eludes you. Don't concern yourself with Cain, old man. He'll join you in hell soon enough. As you said, death comes for us all. Yes. The Wheel of Fate demands it. What did you say? The Wheel of Fate. The inexorable cycle of death and rebirth to which all men are compelled. We serve the same God, Raziel. To strike me down would be striking God's own attendant. And I don't believe even you would take that risk. I tire of your games, Mobius. Now that I know you fear me, I needn't concern myself with you. Cain is waiting for me. Go then, Raziel. Seek Cain out and destroy him in the name of the one god we both serve. You, who were once a seraphim priest, murdered, profaned, destroyed, and reborn again from his mercy. You are now most powerful.
powerfully equipped to be his agent. His instrument of restoration and retribution. My own vengeance is motivation enough. By my soul, you almost had me, my little blue assassin. But that'll be the one and only chance you get. I assure you of that.